Salesforce sharing using enterprise territory management. Welcome to another security deep dive talking about record level sharing. Today, we're going to talk about how territory management can be used for helping with complicated sharing possibilities. For record level sharing and visibility, this is how Salesforce, think of a, a particular object as a file cabinet. You need access, object level access to profiles or permission sets to the file cabinet. But getting access to individual files is controlled through record level sharing and visibility. Some of the mechanisms are out of the box and some of them are with configuration or code. Some of them are affected by user licenses and we're going to be focusing on the ones that use the, the automatic share table created from any of the objects. In the set of possibilities, we're on set 3B, and we previously talked about manual sharing, teams, and today we're talking about territories, specifically enterprise territory management. Enterprise territory management is a way of assigning accounts to particular territories. And you do that through, these can be geographic territories or even non-geographic territories. And you create what's called a territory model with territory types. You could have a primary customer model, and then you could have a special customer model. So you have territory types, you have specific territories. You could have a territory per, per state, 50 territories, each state based. You could have them zip code based. You could have them with large customers, small customers, or any types of um, rules that you design, design through your what's called territory assignment rules. So you, and we're going to go into these details. So to get this started, you're going to create territory management. And from here, you can set up when the, the primary object, the territories drive is the account object with secondary sharings created for opportunities and cases. So at the overall level, you can say users in a territory can view all, op, all accounts and you get to decide whether they get to view, edit, or full access, and the same decisions you make for opportunity and cases. We um, And then there are the nature of parent territories and child territories. And you run, and here we have the run the territory assignment rules during account inserts. So what I've done as an example is I've created a territory type, which has the primary customers, single territory type, I've created a primary model. And what we're going to be looking at is of this primary model. And then I've created here a parent Ca California territory, and then a child San Diego territory. And what I'm using this as an illustration is you can see some of your choices. Even at the territory level, you can modify whether they get view or edit access at either the account the opportunity or the case. So you could have one set of settings at the state level and then down to subcategory levels, maybe at the city or the subregion, you can set up additional values. You can create a territory hierarchy model. I have Arizona, California, and I'm building up a special territories. And I'm going to talk about how you might be able to set up your own custom assignments. So here, I have a primary model, a single territory model. Let me increase the size. Now, what you can do is you can have multiple territory models, but only one can be active at a time. So this could be a territory model that's active, and you could be building a new territory model and be validating it. We're going to take a look at the primary model. And what I'm going to be able to do is to view the hierarchy. So here, I've modified this to where I've got Arizona, California, so you could have your own geographic territory model where you could have geographical states down to subregions. And if we take a look at Arizona, let's take a look at Arizona. Then what I could do is I can create a rule. And here I've assigned Paul the pilot into this territory and I've assigned created an assignment rule that says if the billing state equals AZ, then place any accounts in this model. So now what I'm going to do is go back to the list and let me actually go back to the territory model. We're going to go take a look at the model. We're going to view the hierarchy and we're going to take a look at Arizona. 
and we're gonna view the accounts. So there are Bart Building, Simpson Plumbing, and Simpson Plumbing 2, all in Arizona that have met the Arizona filter. So you can be creating and your own territory rules based on criteria. So if we come back to the territory of Arizona, I can create my own metadata config rule where I can then designate and have access to all the fields on the account and drive the territory assignment. So this is an important out of the box ability to set up these territory assignments, place them in a territory, and then put users in the territory. And you do that through the going to the territory. Let's cancel. And we have edit users. We're gonna go manage users. And you see that what I can do is assign particular users into the territory. So this would then grant them access above and beyond the normal sharing rules of Salesforce. Now I have a scenario where you might want a territory and you might want to have a second level of assignment. So what I've done is created a special case, special ABC123 and 124. So in this special ABC124, I've created an assignment rule where I have said, if this field called special territory is ABC124, then assign it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at all accounts. We're gonna take Acme, and we have a blank field right here, special territory. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put ABC One, two, four. So now it won't, because it only will do on insert, we'll need a mechanism to recalculate the territory. But if I come back to the hierarchy, and here is my special model, and I'm gonna run the rules, include all accounts. So now I'm gonna look at special one, two, four, view the accounts, and Acme is now in there. So what I wanna show you is you can build your own territory model inside of a primary territory model. So this is the special model. You can create your own custom field. I had special territory. And then you can create your own assignment rules. What this will do is allow me, because an account can be in more than one place, this will allow me to share the um, access to users in these special territories in addition to a standard, you know, a standard geographic based model. Now to complete this model with the special recalculation, if that field were to change in mid day, it might not trigger the recalc. So you might need to new up, use a process and a flow or a scheduled job to trigger a recalculation. So there may be some initial delay if on that field changes, but it can be a good way of using out of the box declarative capabilities, build your own model structure here that can either stand alone or be in parallel to your territory hierarchy, standard territory hierarchy, and then place users in the territories. The key elements are this will operate on the account object with some potential side effect, um, sharing visibility on the opportunity and the case. So keep this in mind as a potential tool in your tool belt. So you have the standard territory assignments granting access, but you could also create your own bucket, your own hierarchy that could be parallel. You can put your users in there, and then you could have your own rules that you could apply to the classification of the accounts and get them being placed into the territories. So this is a tool if you're revolving around accounts and potentially access to opportunities. Just wanted to add this to your tool belt. Hope this was helpful while we tackle the territories. Join us again. Same bad time, same bad channel. Make sure you subscribe to Steve Tech Arc on YouTube and come to join us at www.stevetecharc.com. Thank you very much.